We have made a lot of changes on the front end, but one thing we did want to keep front and centre were the characters. Our concept artists have worked hard on getting some of the best artwork we've ever seen in a Total War game. Uh, we wanted to present that art in the best way possible. So we went and re-rendered all of the character art throughout the entire game, re-exported them so they could now be higher res on the front end. When talking about the character design, actually, it's a combined, um, combined result of different resources we, we get from everywhere. So firstly, we check out Wikipedia and also the fiction of Romance of Three Kingdoms to get a general personality and the general appearance of a character. Then we will have discussion with designers, our art directors, and also we, we check out the design document to make sure that our design match the gameplay mechanism, for example, like the faction color of each character, then uh, we also have the, you know, the whole team involved in discussion to make sure that, you know, our direction is matching the overall world view, like the view of the world of Three Kingdoms Total War. And finally, we also check out a lot of trendy um, visual entertainment produ production of Three Kingdoms to make sure that we design some some character that is uh, not going too far away from general people's opinion, but also some somehow keep our own uniqueness. When we were looking at the front end, one of the first things you noticed is the characters aren't to the highest possible quality that they could have been. Because when we get the character art, Photoshop files from our concept artists. We see them in like the highest res possible where they've just freshly been drawn and they look crisp and sweet. But when they got in game, they were looking not as crisp in the kind of facial features. They, the concept art team have put like quite a lot of detail into like all the areas, the face, the eyes, the clothes, the wrinkles kind of all over that like, when we saw the two characters next to each other, like the old res characters and the new res characters, there was a a stark difference between both of them. Like Lulu and her team have done so much work into drawing each of those characters that we thought why not use that and get the best possible characters into our game as we possibly can. Well, uh, talking about uh, the beautiful um, Diao Chan, yes, she is um, kind of tricky to design. Uh, and uh, um, I think the challenging fact for me is um, the beauty standard of the Westerners and the Easterners are very different. But however, um, Diao Chan was considered one of the most beautiful women. I think I will lean more on the opinion of Chinese a little bit more than the Westerners. So um, firstly, I collect a lot of beautiful photos from the famous Chinese female celebrities who are famous for their beauties. And also, um, I collect um, all the different versions of Diao Chan from different um, movies and TVs. And then I also inquire a lot of my Chinese friend and Chinese colleague and ask them about the opinion about Diao Chan. Um, so I made a conclusion that actually, um, they would like to portray Diao Chan as a pure, innocent, a beauty young woman instead of being too sexy and too, you know, outgoing. When we get characters from the concept art team, we have to look at them and see if they'll actually fit within our UI restrictions. I think some of our most complicated characters we have to deal with are people like Yan Shao and Lu Bu, because the hats or the head garments that they wear can often stick out of panels and off the screen altogether. One of the characters that got released had a huge hat that poked off of every screen, so we needed to work with the concept art team to then go back, redefine the design, and kind of come up with a quick summary of how, a quick solution of how we can still best present the characters, but also kind of make them work within the UI restrictions, so make sure they fit on panels, make sure they fit in unit cards. Characters appear in so many different places in our game that there are so many restrictions on how tall things can be, how they have to be rendered, how we have to kind of export characters. That, yeah, we work really closely with the concept art team to try and refine where limits can be, where they can, because obviously Chinese, the Chinese characters in our game 
all have very unique outfits, very unique armors, head garments, everything. Um, and we wanted, as Lulu touched on before, uh, every character has unique poses that they have to go into, and it, these ex these poses and the body expressions kind of feed into the character, the story of the character themselves. Obviously, there are some limits on kind of what we can support in the UI. Lubu is kind of a particular situation we're dealing with, where he's got feet that stick out of certain UI panels. We have to kind of come up with ways to like crop images to kind of um, adapt the concept art to look good inside of our UI panels as well. Um, in terms of the design, um, the last important thing is also we uh, wrap a lot of trendy Three Kingdom visual entertainment production to make sure that our design is not going too far away to the acceptance of the general population, but also uh, maintain our own uniqueness for the Total War Three Kingdom universe.